I really never got to know my paternal grandfather. In fact, I only met him once. He was divorced from my grandmother before my birth and then died suddenly at 62 years of age of a massive myocardial infarct, more commonly known as a heart attack. I was only 10. I always felt robbed of not getting to know him. My other grandfather, who had a bigger part of my life, passed away at 72 after several major heart attacks and strokes. They both should have lived longer, but their lives were cut short by their blood clotting when it shouldn't have. I hate to say it, but my grandfather's became a statistic. According to Harvard Medical School, every 60 seconds, an American dies of a heart attack or a stroke, while another report put it at every 34 seconds. They also found that one in five have high blood pressure. Now, there are a number of culprits of these dangerous cardiovascular insults, such as congenital problems, high blood pressure, hardening of the arteries, plaques and inflammation. But in nearly all cases, the final assassin is a blood clot. I'm convinced that today, my grandfathers would have had a much better chance of living, possibly even decades longer. Surgical advancements have saved some that have actually been declared clinically dead. There are now prescription medications that thin the blood and relax the vessels. The problem with these approaches is that there are always unintended consequences, and by the time that they're employed, you're already a patient. When my father was in his 80s, he'd been placed on Coumadin, which is a common prescription blood thinner. While he was cleaning his garage one day, he bumped his thigh with a bag of cement that he was moving. He said he hardly felt it and just kept on working. As he went to bed that night, he noticed a sizable bruise, but no discomfort. When he awoke in the morning, his entire leg was purple and cold. He was rushed into the emergency room and ended up spending over a week in the hospital. He'd almost bled out. You know, unintended consequences. The big question is how can we keep from becoming a patient or even worse, a statistic? The pharmaceutical approach is to take a low dose of aspirin daily to thin the blood down. Nature has given us some great helps that actually render the blood slippery, thus combating the inappropriate clotting. One of the most commonly used natural products is fish oil from cod, salmon, or krill, but there are also many effective plant-based solutions. The allium family of herbs contains sulfur and includes garlic and onions. They've been demonstrated to be as effective in dealing with blood pressure issues as some of the best-selling medications. Garlic is anti-inflammatory, it lowers cholesterol, relaxes the blood vessels, and decreases platelet clumping. Vitamin E encourages circulation in the smaller vessel as well as gradually dissolving clots. Turmeric fights inflammation and the formation of dangerous plaques. Ginger is a bold tasting spice that Dr. Oz says promotes circulation, lowers high blood pressure, and discourages clot formation. Ginkgo biloba is one of the more popular natural supplements that dilates the vessels and makes the blood less sticky. There are a number of other plants that help keep the blood flowing, like alfalfa, willow bark, and capsicum. Finally, a question. Why do women live longer than men? Because shopping doesn't cause heart attacks, paying the bills do. Now, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share it. For more health videos like this one, head on over to youtube.com slash sunwarriortribe and subscribe. I really never got to know my paternal grandfather. In fact, I only met him once. He was divorced from my grandmother before I was born and then decided <laughs> to have a heart attack at 62 years of age. He decided he did. to? <laughs> Start